Hey there, this video is on sharpening your photos. And if you don't think you need to sharpen your photos, you're wrong. Uh, just about every photo needs to go through some level of sharpening. And the reason is because putting a three-dimensional object onto two-dimensional space through a parabolic and or hyperbolic lens um, causes just some issues with sharpness. So you're going to need to need to do this to some degree. Um, so I'm going to show you two ways. I usually do both on all of my photos. And uh, let's get started. So let's drag this uh, lock down to the trash. And the first one's the easiest one, just to go to Filter, Sharpen, Unsharp Mask. And let's zoom in here so you can see exactly what's happening. So you keep the amount pretty high, upwards of 170 to 200, and keep the radius kind of low. Uh, usually around two to three is pretty good. Uh, you can see if I drag this up in harder, it kind of creates this dark br uh, blue and it's way too much. But uh, keep the radius low so you don't push it too hard. There's the before, here's the after, before, after. Uh, pretty good, so let's keep it like that. That's the first way. The second way, which I think is way more effective, is to copy your layer, drag it down, and you've got two identical layers. And now go to Filter, Other, High Pass. And I usually keep it right around three, uh, usually th between two and four for my photos. You really only need to just bring it all the way down. This is now 50% gray. Um, really just until you see some lines, see some definition usually happens around three. For the purposes of this tutorial and because I want to show you what happens when you go too far, you you create these uh, halos around just these, um, I don't know, yeah, halos is a good word for it, halos around some of the lines. So I'm going to go upwards of eight, show you what happens when you go too far. Let's push OK. Now, a couple of these blend modes do not see gray. Those are overlay, soft light, hard light. I usually click overlay and here's the after, here's the before, after, if you can't tell. Let's go up here, before, after. Now you see what happened here is I have this big halo. It's definitely not supposed to be there. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you how to get rid of that. So I like how sharp it is, but I don't like those halos. And you might not care if the photo is on Facebook and this big. Uh, you might not even notice, but when I printed this out, and that's the one that's the reason why I picked this photo to show you. When I printed this out kind of big to put it on my wall, um, that's the only thing I could think about. I didn't even notice the halo when I printed it out because it's water. So this is what you do. Let's uh, merge these down merge down and let's go and grab our quick select tool just grab the rock grab the top side as well and that's probably pretty good the halos aren't really happening anywhere else it's just on the right side of this rock okay let it think it through uh, all right, so now we have the rock selected. I don't want the rock selected. I want everything else but the rock. So let's just go up to select, click inverse. So now everything's selected except for the rock. Let's zoom in here so you can see what's going on. I'm going to go to view and click the extras. All it's going to do is hide the selection. View, show extras right there means it's visible. I'm just going to hide it. It's still there. It's still selected. I'm just going to hide it. And I'm going to click my clone stamp. And I'm going to press the Alt to select right next to it. And then I'm just going to paint. Now what the selection's doing is it's pr forbidding me from going into the rock. I'm not cloning the rock. Select right there. Okay, let's select on the top. Now you see that dark blue right there? I don't want that, so let's get rid of that. And right here. 
again right here. Maybe this is a little nitpicky, but when you're printing, this is a big deal. It's all you can think about. And I see something right here. I don't like that. Something on my sensor, I guess. Okay, so that looks pretty good. Um, let's look at a before and after. So here's the before. Look at all of those halos. Here's the after. Before, after. Makes a big difference. I can see right here, though, I've gone a little bit too far. Maybe the bad selection. Um, that looks pretty good, though. You can see that I've duplicated it, and it's kind of obvious. But that looks pretty good. So that's how you sharpen a photo, and that's also how you make sure that you don't go too far uh, with the halos.